yesterday I was rebuilt the ECU and put it on but still not working and today I will replace the new fuel pump and this is the slot that go into this uh, fuel pump this is I got the fuel pump from Mazda Auto Park the fuel pump itself it doesn't come with the accessory the fuel pump itself is about $61 $61 from Mazda and this is the, the fuel pump this is the 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 slot that I'm gonna put in the fuel pump. Get a little one right here, and uh, hopefully it solved the problem. The problem is when it started to crank the engine. The engine run for thirty five to forty seconds and shut off. And I, if I let it sit for a little while, I start it's, so repeat the same process. So I might assume that the fuel pump, it doesn't pump enough fuel to fit the engine. That's what I assume, but I don't know. Uh, I'm very confusing. And uh, I will put it on. So before I would uh, open to uh, or we'll, uh, open up the uh, fuel pump, I need to shut off my heater in the garage. Cause you know, you can't do it like that. Okay, before you can you before I are uh, will going do the fuel pump, I need to disconnect the uh, battery here. Uh, make sure connect disconnect the uh, negative negative terminal here. That's how you disconnect the battery and make sure everything dis disconnect the power before you go into. Uh, do the fuel pump. Okay, I'll just put it on the side here. And I will I will take you to uh check inside how's it look in the inside. Oh okay, it's kinda like dark here but let me shine my light. Okay. The Lexus, the fuel pump is located in, uh, let me show you here. The Lexus is where, where, uh, it's located in here. Uh, but in order to get to that area, need to uh, remove the seat. At the first seat here, down. Uh, let me show you here, folk. You need to remove the seat here, and then remove this one, and uh, to get into the fuel pump. Kind of pain in the ass, but I have to do. So, okay. Let me get to here. Uh, it's not an easy process, but well, what can I do? I'm gonna put my camera here. Let's see. Okay, how is this? Is this thing see. I will shut off the camera. 
Okay, well, let's sit here. We you just pour it, cause you know, they have to clip, they clip the seat down to their uh, floor. So, oh, there you go. There you go, see. Got this clip here. It was clip the sit down to the uh, floor here. And uh, all you do is just take, take it out. I will remove the seat here and put it outside. Or, let's see. very dirty here I wonder how the guy could live like this it is dirty well I need to get the uh, I need to get the uh, uh, garbage to clean up all this thing it's so dirty so nasty so Okay, in order to get to the uh, fuel pump, fuel pump is located in here, back in there. So, let me show you here. In order to take out the seat, you have to fold, fold bolt to hold at the back seat. That's one, it's right here. Right, right here. You can see it right here. That one is saying like 12 millimeter. And got one. It's right here. It's, you see that? Oh, yeah. Hiding there. And one. And the other side. Right there. Right there. Right. You can see it. And Totally got full bolt to uh, unscrew it and uh, remove that back seat here. And uh, I already took up the full bolt that underneath the seat. So the one more thing to do is two more things to do is I uh, got two more bolt. I mean there was three more. It's uh one here let me point my fresh light here so you can see better one here that's another one uh right here and uh two it's, it's the second one this is right here and uh the third one is right there Okay, that's a also take a, a 12 millimeter socket. So you just unscrew that three screw here and you just pop the seat up. That's it. So, so you got three bolt I mentioned. You got that. You just easy step. So the old, older version of Lexus, you just lift the whole seat up and that's it. But the newer version here, you don't have to do that. Just, just only do an easy step like this. Take that fold two screw and a four screw on the bottom and two on the top. Oh, that's it. Bad boy out, and I'll we'll show you how the
Okay, so you got everything out. And uh, let me tell you what. Uh, there you go. I'm going to show you here. The fuel pump you're locating here. So this, you can take either down or lift it up and take it. Let's see. I want to make it easy. Take this. Okay. You see the fuel pump is located in here. But here's this fuel pump. Fuel, fuel pump right here. You just pop this thing out. It seems like somebody working on it before. the fuel pump so you take out the screw here and the fuel pump is just inside okay I will go get my uh, socket and do it This is gonna take a eight millimeter socket. So either you use the eight millimeter socket or you use the uh, Phillips screwdriver. But my prefer, I really I like to use the eight millimeter socket. You do an eight millimeter socket, it might be a lot easier because you don't want to strip the hole at the uh, screwdriver uh, the screw here. Let me go in. Turn off, off the my tea heater. I will turn off my heater first before I open this thing. And let's say the I need to uh, disconnect this power cord wire to the back drum, but uh, I will do it later on when I take this thing out. Well, I probably I don't have to. Be careful, don't drop one of the screw. If you drop one of the screw, you won't be able to find one. Get it, because you know, it's here, it got space down there, and the gas tank was a little case behind the seat here. Uh, Lexus, they uh, make it so complicated. Most of the car you can, uh, I can see is BMW, they make the gas tank right under the seat, the passenger, uh, you know, the seat here. And, uh, easier to do it. But Lexus, they make the gas tank here, just right between the back trunk and the back seat here. Uh, make it so complicated. And some people think that they be able to access the fuel pump from the back trunk, but it's not a good idea. They're not gonna. They're not gonna work that way. 
there you go you open here here is the gas tank here and uh, they have three screw here you need to un uh, three bolt here uh, you need to uh, let me see three bolt here you need to uh, take this three bolt and just uh, bring the, the pump out that's easy but I don't have to go and disconnect the wire here from the back so I'll just do it around the front here might be a lot easier okay this take the 10 millimeter socket okay Most of uh, the Japanese car, they can uh, have to use the matrix uh, socket or wrench. bolts here loose I'm about to take it out This type of project here, the kind of ping it has. Uh, yes, no screw attached to this. So, what I do. Myself here, see. When you work in this thing, so be real careful because all the metal here is very, very sharp. You see that? Cut myself. Oh, that hurt. Don't try to put your hand in there, folks. You see that? I need to go and get a band-aid. You see that? Don't try to put your hand in there ever. Because that's very sharp right there. I'm going to cut you and you're going to have a problem like me. Let me go and get a band-aid. Okay, got the got the cut is taken care. It's, uh, it's so painful 
because this is gasoline, but this will be okay. Okay, got to disconnect this. Oh, oh, where I put my pilots? Let me see. I don't want to drop this thing down there. Okay. I will be, I was about cutting my, uh, my hand for the second time, folks. Okay. There we go. Come up. This is the fuel pump. This is the fuel pump you're talking about. So we try to talking about. Okay. Here. Make sure you didn't empty. You hear that? Make sure you empty the gasoline. I don't. First. This is the fuel pump. That we were talking about the whole time. They were thinking about this fuel pump might be bad, but don't know until uh, we put it on. We'll see. Okay, so like my tool was walk away and I can't find my tool as I end up with just all oh, kind of wrong equipment, wrong tool here. I got a ton of socket, but I don't know where the socket go. So this should take eight millimeter socket here. So I don't I don't really know where this go. I need to end up with uh, use the wrong kind of tool. I'm probably need to go and get the right tool. Can't take that uh, sucker outside the car cuts. Ooh, there we go. You, you folk don't do like me. I end up with uh, use the wrong tool for the job. So. This is they call I use the wrong tool for the job. There we go. Oh, I lose the washer. That little washer is very small, so I can't. I don't think that I'd be able to find it. Let me see. Yeah, but lucky, that's right there. There you go. If you are, you can buy the fresh like my like my. At the bottom here, at the got the, magnetic here, magnetic here, and you can stick in it where you want to, like this, like this, and flexible here. Make it easier. OK. 
Okay, right now I got the fuel pump that I bought it, put it together, it looked like this. Okay, now I have some bottle put inside here in the fuel, fuel tank. Here's the fuel pump. I will be real, real careful so I don't got messed up with this. Um, first, I need to put this power line here. Here should be the the power line, the power, the positive side here. It's going go over here. It's so cold. And put the lot washer there. And then put the little uh, nut right there. Your 10 millimeter socket. I don't think 10 millimeter socket do it because you know. The last one is it didn't do it, but I don't have the right uh, equipment, so I will end up with use all kind of wrong tool here. I just working like uh, we are in the, I am in the, in the third world country that have no tool. So I'm I'm using the wrong tool. That's just work. There you go. Then we're gonna have to slowly put in side here. Slowly folks. Slowly. Okay. Slowly put in there. And you don't wanna drop this bad boy there. Until you got the shit shit way. You don't want to cut yourself either. I don't want to cut myself in the second time. Okay. Let me uh, let me try to figure out how how this thing go. I don't want to cut myself in the second time. So. Please work and please. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to put this bad boy here. And there you go. And then push it up so you get more room to play with. There we go. There we go. Now that's the nut here. Ten millimeter. First one done. Two more to go. Second one down. One more to go. One more to go, folks. There you go. Ten millimeter socket. This is this is ten millimeter socket. You don't want to over tight this thing. This, this is don't need to be over tight. So the reason they say you want to are uh, uh, unplug the battery terminal because it's just a power line. It's just a power line going here. 
hip and through here and going down to the pump. So the negative is just coming here and ground to the this plate and will ground to the body of the, of the car. So now it's time to put this thing back in there. I will make sure this fit. I don't want to put my hand in there and get cut in the second time. So I will end up with use a, a need my needle nose here. There you all go. Let's just go in there. So. God damn it. thinking in your way so you guys don't see it but what I'm trying to do is try to make this clamp clamp on the uh, little tube here and I will bring the other one up but seem like I don't have the right tool let me see there we go Let me go and look for my right tool to do it so I don't have to fight with this thing. I thought I have a lot of tool, but we'll just walk away. Just all the tools just walk away and really don't know where it go, where they go. Okay, I won't do that. down a little bit further down down a little bit there you go and now we got room to play with this thing there we go So you got this clamp like this. You need to push it up. Oh. Okay. There we go. Got situation. Situate. Got problem situate. This can like, it's still like easier. Try to clamp this uh, together. So now that's everything going good there. I'm just about putting 
this bad boy back here. I will put it in the cover back. Make sure that's a cover. It's okay, right now I'm finished putting the fuel pump on the Lexus 1995. I was about trying to see it solved the problem. Nope. The problem is still there. So, I don't know what to do. Next, I will, it's about doing, uh, let me try one more try. Nope, there's no hope. That's it, folks.